for those that think they can't move on and recover, there's life after infidelity. Hey, guys, this is my first ever post, so bear with me if I don't everything down correctly. Years ago, I was best friends with this girl, C as her first initial. We knew each other since we were kids, her family and mine all knew one another and were close, the kind that finish each other's sentences close. C and I were always there for each other. I helped through some crazy stuff her mom had a health scare, but everything was okay. And she got me through a bad breakup in HS. C and I had some attraction to each other growing up, but we never acted on it. Afraid that something could go wrong and ruin our friendship. Even though she was insanely beautiful her and her mom and sisters, I kept everything purely platonic. But I would often notice some her boyfriend, she had were a lot like me, and she would always fight with them about comparing me to them. I always felt responsible for these breakups and told her after her that maybe we needed to spend more time away from one another so she could figure out what she wanted. She texted me the next day saying she wanted to talk at her house. Got nervous because I didn't know what to expect. She sat me down in her living room and told me everything. Then she was in love with me and wanted more than just being friends. At first, I thought it was a joke because when this happened, it was on rules can't make this up. But then she kissed me and I was hooked. I kept thinking how dumb I was constantly avoiding this chance that I had with her. Little did I know, things with us was perfect. I literally felt like a king that found his queen. Our families were ecstatic in full pre-wedding mode. Even though we were by now first starting college, her dad said to me with a grin on his face about time. I was wondering what was taking so long. We did everything together. Had a lot of good times and bad, but we always them and never hid anything from each other. Yep, she was really looking like the love of my life material and constantly told me how she would love me forever. I was on cloud now until I noticed in later months that she and my younger cousin M18 were hanging out a lot recently. My cousin was exactly the most responsible person in the world. His dad left him when he was A, but I always looked out for him and considered him a little brother. I noticed he would at times look at my girl the way dudes look at any girl they are on the hunt for and calmly asked him what's going on, and he would sheepishly say nothing and walk away. I didn't pay any attention to it at the time. One night when C and I were chilling in my dorm watching a movie, she randomly said, Please don't ever leave me in a sad voice. I told her then would never happen, but all she did was give me a sad smile. After that, things started taking a turn. She grew distant and kept withdrawing from me. Even when we had sex, as much as we loved it, it felt like it was becoming a routine to keep me happy instead of keeping us happy. This went on for about five months. Then by Valentine's Day, she was back to normal. All loving, fun. And full attention, I even bought her a diamond necklace with money I saved up. It was a good which makes what happen all the more bitter. I had plans that I was gonna propose to her that night, but I had forgotten to get the ring from my dorm. After I dropped her off, I went back to my car and checked to see if it was there before I drove away to my dorm. And sure enough, it was there, dropped it under the seat. As I was getting ready to go back in to surprise her, I saw my cousin drive by and park right in front of her house. My car was in the shadows, so he didn't see me, but he went to the door, see open it, and they were talking. He kept trying to kiss her, and she feebly told him no, but then they were in full makeout mode. She took him by the hand and they went inside, didn't even bother closing the door fully. I was livid. Actually started breathing hard and heavy, felt like I was going to pass out. I couldn't believe what I just saw. My heart was telling me to wait before I did anything crazy, but my brain said finish this. I got out and ran to the door quietly going inside the house. No sooner do I go in. I hear her in the living room moaning wildly and him grunting. I was seeing red, but I stayed in control. I took out my phone, hit record, quietly walked to a corner of the living room, and saw what I can never unsee her writing him bouncing like some damn banshee. Once I had enough proof. I called out to her and they both freaked out. She jumped right off of him, and they just looked at me speechless. Then she went into sobbing mode, claiming I can explain, please don't hate us. My cousin was pale, knowing I could easily beat him into oblivion, but I didn't stay around. I showed her the ring told her you threw this away and left.
I got what I needed just left them as they chased after me putting on their clothes, trying to be as their way out of getting caught. Then came the insane text, things like, I'm sorry, please talk to me. It's not what you think you don't know his story, it just happened one time. He was being a good friend, he was helping me, and I couldn't tell you don't break us, we can fix this. You're being petty and immature, and my favorite, it didn't even last long. To finish, she tried to shift blame onto me when I didn't respond, but that all went to a set for her when I exposed her. And the fallout was a nuclear mess. Her sisters except for the youngest tried to blame me for all of it and tricked me into taking her back. But I wasn't having it. Then they told me it was going on for 5 months, around the time I noticed them getting close. She basically kept sleeping with both of us, no protection from him. I knew right there I was done with her. They were barely clothed when I busted them. Her and only her bra and him and only his damn socks it was like watching PR and only in real time and me as a unwilling audience. The sounds and things she did with him in that moment, I though only I could get her excited like that. She claimed she always loved my body. I work out a good amount, but seeing her bouncing on bony as I have to admit made me feel insecure for a time. There was no reconciliation there. All I could think is I'm arriving away from them was what did I do wrong? I gave her everything and got rewarded with her backstabbing. When we were dating, she was on birth control. Except for one time, I usually wrap up. I was glad I did since my prick cousin went raw on her and probably finished inside her. I never yelled at her, never mistreated or ignored her. If she was happy, I was happy knowing she was happy. We knew each other our whole lives, and I foolishly thought she was the one. One time we went to a tarot card reading at the mall, and the lady there told me that a great love would find me. I told her she already did referring to C, but she gave my girl a funny look. That should have been one of the red flags right there. Not a day goes by when I'm not thankful I caught her. I would have married her not knowing the kind of person she really was. The aftermath, as I mentioned, was cataclysmic. After I nuked them both, her parents kept blowing up my phone demanding to know what happened, saying she was inconsolable. She made, so I basically told them what happened. Her mom dropped to the floor, and her father just kept apologizing to me, saying I didn't deserve this. Sides were made in this, and a lot of friendships were broken on both of our families. Her two sisters, the youngest, didn't know the full story at the time, along with our circle of friends kept attacking my phone with texts saying I needed to talk to her and the oldest wanted me to take her back, even coming up with some BS excuse about a mental defect, she just magically happens to have, like I should be the one to rock sweep her cheating, she made the decision to cheat on me, then they told me everything about how and when it happened, those five months, she would tell me that she was making up some overtime at her work and how her co-workers would cover for her and how nervous he got seeing me when I went to see him and my aunt. I was a trusting fool that always wants to see the best in people, and I got burnt for it. She kept calling me constantly, in her voicemails, her voice always sounded tired and strained from her crying and saying that I shouldn't do this. She felt like a part of her died when I left and begged to speak to me claiming that I swore I'd never leave her. I couldn't allow myself to hear her anymore, so I blocked her. I never responded to any of her messages. My cousin tried a few times to reach me, but I not him too. I never forgot the smug smile he threw when I saw him in my rearview window as I drove off. I knew if I saw him, I wanna hurt him and I could easily do it and he knew this. But no jail time is worth my freedom. My aunt told that he felt guilty. Yeah, right and told me that he did what he did because he wanted to know what it was like to be me. I was done after that. I went no contact with both of them, moved away and never looked back. I was 22 at the time, she was 20 and he was 18. The first year was tough. I was never cheated on before, and it really messed with my head. But I had plenty of friends to help me out, and my mom and dad were a great support system. My buddies actually took me on a trip with them to France to help clear my head. It was the best thing to happen to me. Seeing the Eiffel Tower, eating some metal lines, and learning some French really helped boost my confidence up. And getting to sketch some French girls, nude, really gave me that extra boost. Thumbs up. Now I'm a 27 years old graphic designer making good money and enjoying my life. One on some dates, but nothing concrete. Then a few months ago, 
one of the last people I expected contacted me C's youngest. Sister said she got my new number from my parents and wanted to catch up with me. I was always cool with her, so we start texting and catching up. She and I really clicked. It felt new and exciting with her. Last time I saw her, she was a cute skinny kid with braces. But when she sent me a pic of her now, my jaw dropped. She was out of the world stunning. The ladies in her family were always gorgeous, but puberty took its time on her. We recently met up, and she hugged me so tight. I honestly didn't want to let her go. We started hanging out a lot, and she told me a little info about what happened after I left. Apparently, my cousin did not upstate that night. They decided to try something for the baby, but he cheated on her, and then she cheated on him. Things really went south for them when she gave the baby up for adoption. After that, she moved to LA don't know or care what happened to my cousin. She said she never forgave her sister for hurting me and said that she used to have fantasies of me and her playing house. She had a crush on me and said that she always thought about me and I was the perfect guy that her sister didn't deserve. I told her I like her too and would like to start dating her if she'd have me. So that's where I am right now. Good job, good life, and I'm falling in love again. And I'm happy. I learned a lot from my experiences and wanna share my inputs when I see posts put up. To let people know there is life after infidelity. To remind people, it's never too late to start over. And more importantly, never settle for second best. It worked for me, and it can work for them. Again, I'm sorry for how long it is. If you're still here, thanks for hearing me out. Reddit's reactions. Redditor 5, you're one strong will dude. Resisting the urge to talk to your ex or cousin after what they did is something very few people can do. Kudos and all the best.